June 2nd. What are you haunted by? What man is he that feareth the Lord? Psalm 25, verse 12. What are you haunted by? You will say, by nothing. But we are all haunted by something, generally by ourselves, or, if we are Christians, by our experience. The psalmist says we are to be haunted by God. The abiding consciousness of the life is to be God, not thinking about Him. The whole of our life inside and out is to be absolutely haunted by the presence of God. A child's consciousness is so mother-haunted that although the child is not consciously thinking of its mother, yet when calamity arises, the relationship that abides is that of the mother. So we are to live and move and have our being in God, to look at everything in relation to God, because the abiding consciousness of God pushes itself to the front all the time. If we are haunted by God, nothing else can get in. No cares, no tribulation, no anxieties. We see now why our Lord so emphasized the sin of worry. How can we dare be so utterly unbelieving when God is round about us? To be haunted by God is to have an effective barricade against all the onslaughts of the enemy. His shoal shall dwell at ease. In tribulation, misunderstanding, slander, in the midst of all these things, if our life is hid with Christ and God, He will keep us at ease. We rob ourselves of the marvelous revelation of this abiding companionship of God. God is our refuge. Nothing can come through that shelter.